Welcome to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. This is camping vlog number one. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my pop-up camper. It is a Flagstaff 206 LTD, um, which means it's about 20 feet long. Manufactured by Forest River, I believe. I can't remember the year of it. It's about 10 years old. And uh, has been spending the last day and a half getting unpacked. It's a little bit colder than I expected, but I'm all settled in and I'm excited to show you the camper, so don't go anywhere. We are inside the camper, starting this way. I've got a nice little contraption here to hang up some of my clothes. Just a couple of hoodies and a bath towel. The nice thing about having a small space is you're able to keep only the stuff that is meaningful to you. So here's my Vincent Van Gogh calendar my parents got me. And a picture of me at the DIA uh, next to one of Van Gogh's self-portraits. That was back when I was... Uh, going to Oakland University. Coming down here, I got my late night piss bucket right there. <laughs> my reading material, James Allen, a lot of motivational stuff. Uh, map of the campground. I don't have any running water right now so I bring in water uh, by the gallon from the hose outside. Got some DVDs. Parks and Recreation. Frasier, Modern Family. And then all the Christmas and Thanksgiving classics, Peanuts, and uh, Frosty the Snowman, all that good stuff. And got my microwave. And a note to myself to turn off space heater, otherwise I blow the fuse. Coffee cups, humidifier. This is the spare bed. That's kind of my dresser over there, my hiking bag, some clothes. Uh, that's my travel bag for when I use the shower. And then this is all my stuff for keeping warm, my college diploma, uh, extra linens, socks, gloves, hats. And that's just a spare box with some um, stuff for the bathroom, mouthwash, that kind of stuff. And then an extra sleeping bag, dirty laundry, dirty dishes. And moving over here, I'm staying uh, hydrated with clean drinking water thanks to epic water filters I drink a lot of salt water so that's um, actually some pink sea salt got a couple of forks a couple of knives a couple of spoons water bottles for on the go and up here got my spices black pepper cinnamon and onion powder and some extra stuff for the bathroom toothbrushes down here is all my kitchen stuff uh, just a couple of utensils, my oatmeal, my mixed nuts, two bowls, two plates, thermometer. <laughs> I don't know if you can read that. We're at uh, 50 degrees right now. <laughs> Five zero. <laughs> a little bit chilly. It's um, keeping the RVs heated is a bit of an issue. The electric space heaters are super expensive, so they encourage you to use propane. This is where I do my videos, watch TV, listen to music. Uh, my DVD player, space heater, and coming over here is, uh, I got a queen size bed, which is perfect. Actually this camper has heated bedding, so it's similar to an electric blanket, but the, the actual bedding underneath you is heated, you just need to plug it in. My notepad, I've discovered today as I was unpacking that I have a little bit of a an infatuation with miniature notepads. I'll show you as I go around. I've got about 10 of them for some odd reason. And like I said, in having a small space, you got to make use of all the space. So coming up here, um, got Kleenex, and then behind that is my my lightweight travel bag, hiking bag, and a smoke detector. Um, down here, coffee. This is the coffee I drink in the mornings, and then down here I usually tea, drink tea in the afternoon or evening. Down here, uh, this is for the coffee show. We've got three remaining contestants. 
Dunkin Donuts and Caribou and Folgers so I'll probably be recording some of those tomorrow and then down here got a bunch of my supplements vitamins over here uh, CBD oil that helps me sleep at night it's so cold I always need Kleenex all that good stuff and flashlight usually my hat and gloves are there glass of water it's really dry here in uh, Colorado which is why I have the humidifier otherwise I get pretty bad bloody noses um, down here all my mini notebooks <laughs> I don't know why I have so many I, uh, I think I have a problem <laughs> and carbon monoxide detector so for those of you that want to stick around I'm going to add to this video with a little bit of a background as to how I got here I'll be camping for six months and doing YouTube videos my goal is to do a video a day and after six months I'm gonna reevaluate the situation but what I would love to do is uh, upgrade to a bigger camper <laughs> anyway thanks for watching I am going to cut into my backstory video which uh, will be very interesting for some of you and maybe not so much for others of you but uh, regardless thanks for, for watching um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can follow my adventures. I'll be here in Colorado Springs for an entire month. Um, I, I leave Christmas Eve and head down to the Florida Keys for 10 days. Come back to Colorado and then start working my way south and then to the east and eventually into Florida and then up into Michigan, visit the family and, uh, and then I would love to go around further out west maybe some of the national parks Mount Rushmore Yellowstone Yosemite Mount Zion all that good stuff so this is gonna be an awesome adventure I feel so lucky to be able to document it um, years from now I'm gonna be watching these videos and be thinking man what a crazy young energetic guy I used to be <laughs> um, and I will also do um, I was gonna say most people say that this uh, that this is where the magic happens but for me I love the kitchen so I'm gonna do some of my upcoming camping episodes are gonna be uh, what I eat when I'm camping because obviously you're limited as far as to as far as what you can cook what you can't cook and then I'm gonna do a video on how I stay fit um, some of the exercises I do at the park um, I can turn this thing around I guess there we go uh, so I'm going to do one on uh, my, my food menu, one on um, how to stay fit, and then one on this specific campground, Mountain Dale RV Resort, uh, south side of Colorado Springs. And, um, and then there's a small town nearby called Penrose. I'm going to head up down there and kind of highlight that town. And then as you know, I like to do a lot of hiking trails, um, those kind of videos, maybe some snowshoeing and whatnot. So this camping uh, vlog is going to be a lot of fun for me. I'm still going to be doing the hiking trails and still be going to be doing the coffee show. But uh, my goal is one video per day. So for those of you who are loyal, you got to hold me to the fire because I know I'm going to want to get lazy at some point. But I get one shot at this. So I get six months. Is up, uh, I got enough money for six months and that's it. So I've got to produce as much quality content as I can in six months. Uh, I've been thinking about it a lot planning a ton and um, I know some people are skeptical but I am dying to prove everybody wrong I've tried the nine to five job and I, I simply can't do it <laughs> I don't have it in me man but uh, please stick around I'm gonna share some of the intimate details about the backstory of my life and how I got to this point so once again thanks for watching please subscribe to my YouTube channel As I mentioned, I wanted to share a bit of my backstory and kind of explain how I got to the point that I'm at right now. Um, uh, my good friend Missy, I'm pretty sure she's convinced that I'm going through a midlife crisis <laughs> because when I told her what I'm doing, she says, ah, we need to talk about this. <laughs> but I'm super excited about it. Things seem to be falling into place. Um, I was able to find this camper at a good price. Uh, luckily, my car is able to tow something 
of this size and I packed everything in and everything fit almost perfectly it's uh it really feels like it was meant to be so I'm pretty excited the YouTube channel has started to grow um, I, I'm up 150 percent over the last month which is awesome so I feel good about it um, I took a couple of notes here um, number one I grew up camping uh, with my my parents took us camping every weekend in the summertime we would go to different state parks we would go um, some years we'd go to state parks some years we would do the seasonal campground in Decatur Michigan it's called timber trails we had a ton of fun uh, water skiing going to the beach campfires basketball volleyball and those are some awesome childhood memories um i think it really shaped who i am today doing that outdoor kind of stuff uh, number two on my list here i um i grew up working for my parents right out of high school uh, i did that for about 10 years and then I opened a coffee shop did that for about four or five years and then went to college got my college got my marketing degree and tried to do the whole corporate thing and it was just like torture i honestly my mind can't comprehend some of the things that people do on a daily basis these big corporate jobs you know um still haven't really come to terms with the point in marriage and having kids growing these huge families in this cruel world we live in um, i just don't get it so I I've never been a person that has been motivated by doing the status quo or doing ordinary things and this um, it feels different it feels like I'm living life on the edge just a little bit um, I'm also in love with these Alaskan homesteaders all these Alaskan TV shows the last Alaskans uh, what else is there uh, Alaskan bush people they live off the land and it seems amazing but I know behind the scenes there's a ton of hard work and this seems like a good happy medium kind of a middle ground where I'm camping and there it is a little bit more work I mean I've got to walk to the clubhouse to do my dishes you know I've got to walk to the restrooms to take a shower um, but it's a ton of fun and I'm also an aspire I consider myself an aspiring minimalist so um, I don't understand people that need to just collect things and just buy things huge houses tons of cars don't get me wrong I do want to upgrade to a better camper but I just don't feel the need to to own a hundred pairs of shoes and four cars and a house plus a beach house plus another beach house and people just collect these possessions and it doesn't bring happiness I read an article in psychology today magazine that has kind of also shaped my life says that the happiest people in the world are curious adventurous explorers and and I think I know why that is I'm, I'm learning um, when we try new things when we do new things it gives us it gives our brain the opportunity to solve problems to find efficiencies in the things that we do and even just the few days I've been here camping uh, perfect example the first night I went to the restrooms they were closed because they the freezing temperatures they were afraid that the pipes were gonna freeze and I thought uh oh this could be a problem <laughs> so hence my piss bucket <laughs> um, finding you know just better ways of organizing stuff and better you know efficiencies in doing things and that is very it feels good you know it's very um, fulfilling to be able to find efficiencies every single day when we do the same stuff over and over and over go to the same job in the same restaurants and cook the same meals it's really there's not much fulfillment that you can get out of that because it is just the same thing it's going to be rare that you find an efficiency in something that you've been doing for the last 10 years so that's in my mind i think why doing new things is, is so important um what else do i have here i wanted to mention to my aunt Jeannie and uncle dick the whole time i organized i was thinking of you guys they helped me move one time when I was living in Florida and they will never forget how dusty my floor was <laughs> and to me I thought why would I wash the floor <laughs> and to them they were thinking Ugh, this is the grossest floor I've ever seen so anyway I'm um, gonna wrap this video up but I appreciate you watching as I mentioned I've got some exciting upcoming videos and um, my plan is to do a video a day so uh, but producing quality content is very important to me. So if you've got ideas, please leave it in the uh, comments section. And um, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
We will see you next time.